If you or your loved one or your friend has been diagnosed with melanoma, then you're gonna wanna hear about this. The FDA has just approved what I'm gonna call the terminator version of melanoma treatment. It's called Amtagvi or Lifilusol. So this treatment works kind of like the Terminator and John Connor. I'll be back. So think of your melanoma cells as John Connor and think of your tumor infiltrating lymphocytes or TILs as the Terminator. What they're doing with this new treatment is they're taking out these tumor infiltrating lymphocytes or TILs from your blood and then they're expanding them in the lab and growing a bunch of these clones of cells, the terminators. And then they're reinfusing them back into your body and they're gonna go find the John Connors in your body and kill them. It's a pretty awesome treatment and it doesn't involve any chemotherapy. Like cancer treatment is really getting quite far. So this treatment is only for people with stage four or metastatic melanoma that has spread to other body parts who have failed something called immunotherapy or other first line treatments. Now let's talk a little bit about why this new treatment is so exciting compared to immunotherapy, which is also pretty exciting as a treatment. So what happens is once you've been diagnosed with metastatic melanoma or melanoma that's spread throughout the body, you really have two treatment options. The first option is something called BRAF inhibitors. So these are pill medications that specifically block uh, part of the pathway that gives melanoma cells a growth advantage. And you can only take this treatment if you have a BRAF mutation in your melanoma cells. So if you don't have that BRAF mutation, then your other option is something called immunotherapy. Now immunotherapy, to keep things simple, is essentially taking off the brakes of your immune system. So these tumor cells are really smart and they produce either receptors or chemicals that prevent your immune system from attacking the tumor cells. It basically gives out signals saying that the immune system should be quiet and shouldn't be attacking those cells. So immunotherapy is they infuse it into your body and basically they take away or they block those inhibitory signals. So it takes off the brakes so that your immune system says, hey, there's something here, we gotta go attack it. Now that's great because it's using your body's own fighting ability to attack the immune cells, but the downside is sometimes that response goes a little bit out of control and your immune system starts attacking normal tissue. So people are getting a lot of immune related side effects from these treatments, whether that be rashes, uh, some people are getting um, hair loss, some people are getting organ problems. So they might have inflammation of the heart, inflammation of the lungs, inflammation of the liver, all sorts of issues. And so this new treatment is pretty cool because it's actually taking your T cells, your tumor infiltrating lymphocytes, which are a type of immune cell that are specifically trying to already attack the melanoma cells. And you're taking those out and you're growing them in culture to make a bunch of them. So it's a little army. And then you're reinfusing specifically that army to go in and attack the melanoma cells itself. Now, I don't know all the side effects yet. I'm gonna be reading more about this new medication, but I presume that it has less of these immune-related side effects compared to our traditional immunotherapy. So it's really exciting, a really new treatment that is coming down the pipe, it's been FDA approved in the States for melanoma for those patients that are running out of options. So this is probably something that you'll talk to your dermatologist or your oncologist about. And if you need to start that treatment, then that's who you'll be having that discussion with. Well guys, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this content. I hope you find this treatment as exciting as I do. Make sure you like, subscribe, and send me a question in the comments section down below. I'd be happy to answer it. We'll see you in the next one.